this point, not anything to be concerned about. 78 for Gravesend, Coney Island at 75 right now, 70 up in the Bronx at Fordham, 76 for Rockaway Beach. So perfectly pleasant out there. And it's not just in the five borough, boroughs, it's across the board. 75 in Newark right now, 72 in Belmar and Islip. Excuse me, 75 in Islip, 72 for Bridgeport. It feels just as nice as it looks. The air is still dry. These numbers are going to start to climb a little bit. A shift in wind direction brings back slightly higher dew points, but not to the point today that you really notice it. I think you are starting to notice it moving into tomorrow. The one weather alert that we have is a rip current risk for the south-facing shores of Long Island down the Jersey Shore. One of the reasons for this is area of low pressure that we're keeping an eye on that will stay offshore, but it's going to churn up the water a little bit, bring us some rough surf and rip currents for the next several days. Also keeping an eye on this front that will eventually move through as we move toward the weekend, bringing us a rain chance. But now the National Hurricane Center are actually keeping a close eye on this area, not necessarily for a good chance of delta development. Only a 20% chance for the next seven days. It's tracking northeast, expected to stay offshore, eventually moving into too cool of water to really develop from there. But this is one of five areas that the National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on right now. It's been quiet for the past several weeks, but this is indicative of the fact that we're still not to the peak of hurricane season. That's September 10th, and things are starting to wake up in the tropics. We're watching it closely. You don't have to worry about that area of low pressure that's staying offshore too much. We're just watching it for the current risk and the rough surf and that rain chance that does slide in as we move toward the weekend associated with the front coming from the other direction. Today, sunshine, highs in the mid upper 70s, just beautiful conditions. No issues in the forecast heading to tonight. We're pretty quiet, but we will get some cloud cover moving in ahead of sunrise tomorrow morning. Tomorrow looks and feels different. Not necessarily uncomfortable, but there will be more humidity in play and obviously more cloud cover in the mix. Not a completely gray day all day. In the afternoon, we'll still see some sunshine. Still going to end up being nice, but with that slight uptick in humidity, it's just not quite as pleasant outside. Now moving towards Saturday, that's when the rain chances really return. You'll notice the humidity under a cloudy sky on Saturday with a noticeable breeze. And we're watching this front that does seem to have sped up a little bit. Right now, it looks like those rain chances start in the afternoon, and then this thing is out of here move towards Sunday. That means we dry out pretty quickly on Sunday and the weekend is salvageable. But yes, we do have rain chances to watch on Saturday afternoon and evening. No rain chance in the forecast today. The sky stays mostly clear. So uh, school bus pickup later this afternoon, all good. Those highs today in the upper 70s for most and still feeling really pleasant. Tonight, a few clouds in the mix. Those hang on into sunrise tomorrow morning. So slightly less comfortable for your Friday, but still perfectly fine out there. There's a few more clouds, a little more humidity. Saturday is when we're watching for the rain showers in the afternoon and evening. And then by Sunday, we're clearing that out. We're right back to the beautiful weather moving to the start of next week. So let's keep the good vibes uh, rolling. Do you want to say it again, David? It's a lot of gorgeous out yeah. there. I'm sorry, there's a lot of gorgeous. That's exactly right. There we go. Thank, Thank you, Danny. Next on Eyewitness News, new outpatient physical therapy center that's focusing exclusively on helping young children with a range of rehab needs. And the new NFL season begins tonight. How the Giants are celebrating their storied history as they start their 100th season.